My name is Colin Schindler with Remax Ignite, and this is another episode of the Beloit Buzz. Today I'm sitting here with Tim Gorse, and he is the brewmaster at G5 Brewing Company. How are you doing today, Tim? Mm. Any day with a beer in my hand, I'm all right. Can't beat it. No, it's good. And what are we drinking here? Yeah, so Colin, we just released this last week. Um, it's called Pineapple Under a Hazy Sea. Uh, it's our 80th beer. Um, different kind of beer. Today we're brewing our 81st different kind of beer. So, um, as you kind of know, um, being one of our members, we do come out with a lot of different beers um, throughout the whole year. Absolutely, and uh, 80 some beers, that's that's a lot considering, you know, what are you guys, just over a year old now, right? Just over a year. Um, when, when the shutdown happened, we were 10 months old. Yeah. So, we had a few months where we didn't brew much, and um, now we're back at it, and uh, um, creativity is like, Back. Yeah, it's good. Good, good. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I uh, was one of the probably first people to sign up. I was pretty excited when that membership came out. I feel like a bad member though. I, I have not tried all all eighty mm. thus far, but I have had quite a few, and they've they've all been really good. I uh, I think that's probably for the wise. Yes, yeah, I, <laughs> I think so as well. Because <laughs> otherwise, uh, we might think you have a problem. Yeah, uh, no, maybe, <laughs> maybe. No. So eighty some beers. How many do you currently have on tap on your on your menu right now? Yeah, we always have twelve on tap. Um, um, we have three towers that they all pour from, so waiting for a beer isn't like usually an issue because um, we're able to pour from three different locations, so that's always a good thing. You have something nice and fresh in your hand. Yeah, always. yeah, absolutely. And I mean, they are always phenomenal beers, and you have some pretty unique twists on you know certain flavor combinations. And uh, I guess how long have you been brewing beer? Oh, um, I'm, I've officially been in the business for like four and a half years now. Okay. So. Um, He's got it down. Kind of a, I'm kind of a noobs for a lot of things, but also I think that's what kind of keeps it fresh and, and uh, unique. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, pretty exciting. I know recently uh, you guys just uh, you have your beer in stores now, so you're, hmm. you can you can get this at the store if you can't make it out here uh, to enjoy it. Um, so get it at the store. But if you haven't been out here, folks, you know this is truly an amazing place. Uh, they got great beer. Uh, but the atmosphere, the building that you have here is a very unique building, a lot of glass, um, which is important up here because we kind of sit a little bit higher up in the city of Lloyd. So yeah. there's some great views, great patio area, and uh, let's, let's check some of those spaces out. beer that is in stores you know you got got your cans here so make sure you are looking for it on store shelves that's that's really exciting that you got it yeah. into to quite a few places I understand correct yeah we're uh, I think we're in uh, 10 places up in Madison we are in eight different places in Milwaukee and uh, we're trying to work with a couple of retailers more locally and then also um, some perm permitting problems slash backups with the state of Illinois um, okay because we got a lot of people from Rockford, South Beloit, um, and everybody in between that have been like really great supporters too. So we want to make sure that we can, you know, support the places that have come up here to support us. Um, this truly is like a community thing. You know, we yeah. we're not here just to serve ourselves. Um, we like this liquid, so we want as many people <laughs> to get their hands on it, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it is always a, a fun family atmosphere here. You have you have great service. Um, you know this this guy Tim. He's he's pretty fantastic. He's he's always around doing something and, and working really hard, which is which is cool to see. So we've talked a lot about your great beer and how fantastic it is, but maybe there's some folks at home who are curious how how this beer comes to be. Do you mind giving us a little rundown on on the process? Not at all. Um, so we get a lot of our barley from Milwaukee, nice and close. We like to keep as much as we can ingredients as close to home as we um, as possible. Um, we just crush the barley. We make a tea, just like you would at home, with uh, all that barley. It just becomes really sweet water. We boil it. After we boil it, we put a little bit of hops in it, so it creates some balance. Otherwise, it would be super, super sweet. Sometimes you could taste a stout that's really sweet. That's maybe because it wasn't balanced enough with some hops. They might have added some other ingredients for that, too. Anyways, um, we cool that down to about 72 degrees. We add yeast. Yeast loves the sugar that we created, and yeast does um, create alcohol from the sugar that they eat and in two weeks um, we make it really really cold we put some bubbles in it and about three weeks later um, we'll put that beer on tap 
Tim's working hard to uh, to bring in this great stuff. Cheers, Tim. Thank yeah, you. No so I do focus a little bit on community in these mm -hmm. segments as well. And, uh, you know, we talked about people coming from all over and, and being able to enjoy this space as much as you enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, we also mentioned I am a proud G5 Brewing Company member. Very right. proud. Uh, do we have any more of those memberships left? Can we can we get some more people in here to, to join this community? Yeah, uh, we have about 10 memberships left. So we've been really lucky with the local support of the memberships. Uh, we have allowed 75 for the first year. And uh, it's $100, you get a uh, dollar off beers when you come. Uh, we have special member brews. You get uh, free beer from those member brews and then discounted on food and merch as well. Yeah, they're always doing some cool stuff. Tim keeps you in the loop with, with everything that he's doing. Uh, one place that you can find them to know what they're doing is, is their Facebook page. Uh, that's, that's a good spot. But uh, you know, if you're one of those me members, uh, Tim's, Tim's sending an email, keeping you yeah. up to date of you know, what's coming out and, what, and what's going on. So he's really great at it. He takes a lot of pride in his job and he takes a, ride, a lot of pride in this place here at G5. It's really an amazing place. And if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely get up here and check it out and have some of these great beers. So. Let's maybe uh, turn off the camera, finish yeah, the rest finish of these, this. and uh, I appreciate you having me out. It's, thanks, been, a, it's thanks, been a pleasure. Yeah, and thanks for coming up and, uh, and highlighting this place. We yeah, really appreciate it. Absolutely, Tim. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course.